All right, everybody. Hey, it's Mr. Mathwell here. And I just want to share this with my colleagues and teachers, whoever wants to see how to uh, how I do my recording um, for my Mathwell videos. So I've had some questions and uh, I found this program. It's OBS. It's not a new program. A lot of people are using it. I think it's called Open Broadcaster Software, I think. Uh, it's free. It's really powerful. It's, it's really cool. I was using Debut uh, recording program from NCH Software for the last few years, and it's worked really well. But transfer it to a new computer, the old version uh, wouldn't fire up. And so I needed an update. I needed to pay for that. So I thought I'll explore some free stuff first. So OBS kept popping up in all the reviews as being you know, one of the best uh, open source uh, software to use. So I'm just going to go over uh, kind of quickly an outline of, of what I do and um, a little bit on how to set it up. Honestly, I've, I've spent a dozen hours working through this. I, I think I've got it working pretty well now, but you might have to just spend some time exploring, looking up YouTube videos on your own. But I'll just show you quickly what I do. So right now I'm on the screen. So I'm, I'm recording, as you can see, and this looks a little funny. Okay, it's got an infinite number of windows here. I know it looks a little funny because I'm trying to show you the controls here. Okay, but um, normally on this scene, it's just my computer screen here. And me, I've got a, I've got my webcam going with a little picture of me there live and my logo. Okay, so that's normally what happens on this screen, and that is called the I just call that the math wall screen. So the first scene that I usually go to and I have uh, sitting there waiting for when I start recording is this logo pre intro. Now I don't have a mic set up for that one, so I'll show it to you right here. This is what it looks like. Okay, so it's just sitting there. Uh, I put it on that. I minimize this window. I do everything blind because <laughs> I don't have a second monitor. If you had a second monitor, it might be kind of nice. But um, I do everything blind. I just have hot keys and I just have a series of hot keys trusting that my intro is coming up and then I'm recording and blah, blah, blah. You can see at the bottom of the screen there, you've got a little OBS logo with a red dot. So you know it's recording, but you don't really know what scene you're on. So you got to just kind of make this key, the hot keys simple and uh, just don't have too much going on, I guess. And uh, yeah, practice with it before you do a uh, half an hour long video or something and then realize you haven't been recording yourself. So log logo pre-intro. Then I do that short stinger intro that you heard at the beginning and here it is right here. And all these are short keys that I've got set up, which maybe we could talk about that later. Um, we'll see if we get to that. But uh, then I get into the main screen or the main teaching time. Now I also could have a, um, you'll see down here I have large webcam, okay? And this is the large webcam right here. I'll, I'll move over to that. And so again, hotkeys set up for that. If I just want to address my students or just talk to people, just me without showing them anything on the screen that I'm writing down, it's just me, my webcam. I've got my logo set up here, as you can see on the bottom corner. Well, this just is something simple, right? Uh, and ignore the background. Uh, this, I'm in my basement here, COVID and at home. I uh, don't have my green screen set up or anything yet. Um, that's coming later. I'll figure that out later, I guess. But right now, you just see in my rod hockey table in the background and all the rest of it. Um, so I can address the uh, students. Again, I can go back to open screen here. Now, with these scenes, you can set these up and name them what you want. Okay. And I've set this one up here. I'm going to go to it. I don't have a mic set up, so I can't talk to you. But this is what it looks like when you hit the plus sign right here, plus sign, to make a new scene. This is what it's going to show. Okay. So pretty blank. Notice that there were no sources. There was just the basic mic aux. This is the computer microphone, which is total garbage. So I've got that muted and I've got my condenser mic uh, hooked up, which I'll bring in the screen here, right here, condenser mic. It's going through an audio interface. I'm using, I'm a guitar player. So I've got a uh, line six helix back there. You can use your helix as an audio interface. It's awesome. It takes a little bit of mucking around and stuff to find out the right settings to get into this, but um, you can totally use that and a, a separate good mic. I would prefer that. I'm going to get a good webcam too. This one kind of sucks. But uh, anyway, so I've got each scene set up and you can just click plus sign to add whatever uh, for any of these. And, um, you know, so the math wall watermark. Okay. If I click on that, you can see that it's highlighted on the screen there and, and you grab a picture, you size it, you put it where you want it on the screen. Uh, video capture device. Okay. So that's my webcam and that's showing me again. I've resized that, put it where I want it on the screen. The display capture is obviously the screen itself, and you can resize that. Um, I'm using OneNote to make to write my notes and stuff. So I've I've got I'm cutting out the sides and the top and bottom just so I can have my screen where I want to write to show the students. Uh, and then the, the mic I've added this uh, condenser mic. So you just hit plus sign if you want to take something off. You can you can do that right. So 
like this over scene two. Okay, so um, yeah, so I, I get rid of that. Um, fades, controls, whatever. Okay, I don't really do too much with this. You can do different scene transitions and the timing. I've mucked with that a bit, but anyways. Okay, so so yeah, so hotkeys, right? So uh, I start with my pre-intro hotkeys for my uh, short stinger. That's a that's the what they call the little music clip. Again, that's free music um, that I've just you know copyright free whatever. Um, looked on the internet, downloaded the short little you know. Uh, and then um, just brought that into the program, selected that. That's what I want playing and blah, blah, blah. So that's that scene, the intro scene. Then it's me. And uh, now this one, large math wall logo. That's just the logo with a black screen with like a little bit of music playing on underneath. If I want the uh, if I want the screen to be on there with some music for 30 seconds or whatever, if I want to promote something or whatever, I, I don't use that much. OK, um, yeah, there's um, when you go to these things, you can. Uh, oh boy. So the math wall watermark, um, if you hit the, uh, uh, the gears, you can do different things. You can upload. Oh, there's filters too, which, uh, um, not sure where the filters are. I right click filters. Okay. So I've got on here a Luma key. I don't want to mess it up too much here, but I'll just show you. Okay. 0.89. So this thing, you know, you can do what you want with your logo. You can saturate it. You can do this Luma thing. I think it's pretty cool. Where was I? 0.89. Okay. Uh, and then um, all this sort of stuff, the color key, you can, you can change the tint and all that sort of stuff. So filters are a good thing. You can add whatever kind of filters you want, color correction, blah, 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 scroll. You can do text and you can scroll it up, down, sideways, whatever you want to do there. So yeah, it's pretty cool there. So set up scenes, get some hotkeys going. There's no post-production at all. And uh, yeah, um, I, I would say go for it. OBS is awesome. And if you want to ask me any questions, you can comment on this video. I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. But just take some time messing around with it. Um, all this stuff is pretty neat. So I don't know if there's anything basic uh, that I've missed. Other than I don't have a second screen, so I do have to minimize this. Uh, I do have to minimize this uh, when I start because I don't want people seeing that at the beginning. It's pretty hick uh, if you have to minimize that. So um, I've just got all my short keys here, and I can uh, <laughs> I can go short keys. <laughs> So now I'm on the now some of the short keys are overlapping with some of the short keys on the other programs that you have up. So you got to be careful with that. So I just went to my big large webcam and I also uh, it was a short key for my other program. So I <laughs> yeah, beware of that. Try and hit some short keys that aren't used by many other programs. And uh, yeah, hope this helps. Again, uh, this is what it looks like. And if you have uh, maybe you can't see that. Uh, this is what it looks like here. If you have any questions, please let me know. And uh, yeah, have fun with it.